everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my July favorites. They are a little late and I apologize for that, but it'll be okay. So we're going to talk about all these lovely things right here. But first I'm going to move them off screen so that you can see them one by one as we talk about them and you're not distracted by the loveliness of all of the others. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is my awesome... Erin Condren planner right here. Now we're not talking about the planner specifically, although I do really, really love it. I mean, what is not to love about this gorgeous planner? However, what I am talking about, which by the way, there's a code down in the information box to kind of get you one of these uh, with $10 off, just saying. But what I'm actually loving is I actually got this as a ready to ship planner and got the customized cover later. But I actually designed this myself and I basically took just a kind of image of some makeup, threw it at the bottom, threw a lip print at the top, and then put Southeast by Midwest, which as you know was my blog name and is now my YouTube name. I actually decided to change my YouTube channel name because I had had this done and I kind of wanted everything to be under the same umbrella. And on the back, I actually have my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, and my blog address with another image of some makeup. The inside of these are all, you know, I ch I, you get to choose the color, so I chose bright pink, so I am absolutely in love with the customized cover. The next item that I am loving this month is, well, for the month of July, was the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1. I actually brought this back out because I reviewed the CoverGirl Outlast Luminous Foundation. And I'll link the review down below, but essentially in the review, I said that it was good, but I could get the same effect with the Outlast 3-in-1 with, you know, a luminizing primer and it actually have a better hold because this just lasts so much better with that thought of mine when I thought in mind when I reviewed that product and I had pulled this out to talk about it when I did the review I got to thinking you know what it's really hot and humid in South Carolina right now and since I'm saying how great this product is, maybe I should start wearing it again. So I started wearing it again, and this is pretty much the only foundation that I wore for the month of July. You can tell it is just kind of, you know, ewy. So I was loving this. The item that I'm loving this month, or that I was loving for the month of July, is the Maleficent MAC Beauty Powder. And this was in Natural. Now, unfortunately, they don't sell this anymore, and I don't usually like to do uh, products that aren't in stock anymore because if you like them as well, when I talk about them, you won't get to you know, be able to try them. Uh, but I, I just can't help it. I was loving this. I used it to set the CoverGirl Outlast. And actually a couple days I just wore it by itself with a little bit of uh, primer. So this is what it looks like. It is just a nice soft peachy color. Um, and can we just talk about the packaging? I mean, love it. Uh, this was actually, no, this and a lipstick were the only items I got from this collection. It just has this kind of you know, peach cast. But when you, you know, it just kind of brightens. See, this is what I'm talking about. This, these two together does the exact same thing that the Luminous does, but it does it better. And I kind of I kind of like that. So, I was loving this combination for the month of July. Also for the month of July, I was loving the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I can tell you, oops, I just dug my nail into it. I am a sad banda. <gasps> oh. oh, do you see this, people? Ugh. Ah, and now I've made a mess on my thingy. Dang it. Disadvantages of being a beauty YouTuber. Okay, so I have used this palette more than I have used any palette that I have ever owned. You can actually see some, besides the nail mark, some indents in several of the ones. And you know the sad thing is this one has a big indent going and... I only use that for my brows. I should tell you how much I use this for the month of 
June and July. So I'm actually going to take a, a swatchy of this one right here. I love this shade. This is Honey Butter. I love this in my crease. It is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Loved this palette this past month. The last thing that I was loving for the month of July is actually the set of makeup brushes that I used to put on the Too Faced Natural Matte palette. As you can see, there's a little bit of combination stuff going here. So essentially, I used the Sigma E55 shading brush to apply color all over my lid. I then used the Sigma blending E25, which is kind of a flat blending brush, to apply color into my crease. I then used the Sigma E40 to buff that all out as I worked. And then I used the Sigma E05 to kind of put, this is an eyeliner brush, but I don't use it as an eyeliner brush. I use it as an inner corner highlight brush and to do like underneath my bottom lash line. So that's what I use that for. So that is everything I was loving for the month of July. Hopefully you like these favorites videos and if you do make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below with what your favorites were for the month. I'm going to try to have my August favorites up before the end of August. I really am. I, I need to get better about my favorites videos. I love doing them. It is a way to show you things because I don't necessarily have time to do tutorials all the time. So it gives you a way to see what I'm wearing and what I'm loving at the end of each month. So until next time, make sure to check me out on the social media down below. And bye!